Plataforma per la Llengua organized in Barcelona the fourth assembly of the main network for the defense of regional or minority languages, ELLEN, which is composed of about 150 organizations. With this act, the pro-Catalan NGO reinforced its international presence and promoted the Catalan language to its European peers. The assembly took place at the Camp Nou Football Stadium to mark the 100th anniversary of Barcelona Football Club's first penning of a document in Catalan, and it counted with the presence of the Catalan Parliament's president, Carme Forcadell. The attending entities represented 44 regional or minority languages from 22 different states, among which was Catalan. Plataforma per la Llengua exposed many cases of discrimination against the Catalan language. Oscar Ascudé defined the NGO's current and future challenges and explained how its work is important from the European perspective. Plataforma per la Llengua works in the international field with the goal to get the full officiality of Catalan in the European institutions and the other main goal is that get that Catalan citizens are not treated as second-class citizens but as first-class citizens and that goes together with the official officiality of Catalan language in European institutions. With these goals in mind we will work together with uh, two European institutions which are Ellen and NPLD. We have presented in different European committees uh, reports on linguistical discrimination we have translated our report on the situation of the Catalan we do yearly to be more easy for foreign people to know the real situation of Catalan. We have continuous presence in Brussels, we meet different people from European institutions. The president of Plataforma per la Llengua also pointed out that Catalan is spoken by more than 10 million people, but is not considered an official language in Europe. On the other hand, some official languages count with a much smaller number of speakers, a situation European entities regard as a paradox. I think it's, a, it's an injustice to see that Catalan cannot be used at European level and Hungarian can be used because um, uh, Catalans are uh, uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, nations who are fighting now for independence. During the act, the Catalan Euro Deputy Josep Maria Terricabras and the Welsh Euro Deputy Jill Evans held a debate on the situation of minority languages in European institutions. The conclusion was clear. Most European member states discriminate minority language speakers. Apenas lenguas is terribly. Para nous, in fact, we pas cap de drets. We pas cap de drets per agure, per abe, une lengua parlada officiellement dans la vie publique. Ha habido también quizás un temor injustificado de pensar que el hecho de poder otorgar a las distintas regiones la posibilidad de expresarse en una lengua pueda llevar consigo connotaciones de, de soberanía nacional. One of the conclusions that was reached at the Ellen Assembly was the demand that states meet the requirements of the European Charter for Regional or Minority Languages for as long as these languages remain unofficial. A claim that was also supported by Plataforma para la Llengua. Our mission, you know, our objectives is two pillars really. One is advocacy work and lobbying to protect and promote our language, the members, you know, our member languages or generally regional minority and endangered languages generally, you know, everywhere. So we address all of those things and we, we work with the European Parliament and the Commission to tailor our activities according to what the language needs are. And then the other pillar of our work is, is language project and, you know, Part of our function, you know, we're a network. We put people together and we say, look, the Catalans, you know, you, you're really good at this. Um, the Hungarians need to know something about that. Um, go to them and let's set up a project um, or, you know, just to meet. So we have this kind of, we're kind of like a big family. Lastly, Ellen, which counts with David Hicks as Secretary General, chose its new steering committee in Barcelona. It is headed by the Valencian Ferran Suay, new president of the association, and a representative of Plataforma para la Llengua, Rosa de los Neus Marco, who was named one of the vice presidents of the leadership team. From this position, the Catalan NGO will be able to strengthen its international activity for the promotion and defense of the Catalan language. <laughs>